in obedience to God's word and for the fullest happiness of the home, the husband is declared in scripture as the head of the wife. They are equal in their persons, but they are different in their positions. For he imparts unto her his name and receives her into his care and protection, in token of which he gives this ring and pledge. Young, you are to go the way of the cross before Micah. Thus you are to compass about her life with spiritual strength and protecting love. And Micah, thus you are to wear this ring as an enclosing bond of reverence and dearest faith, both fulfilling the perfect circle of duty that makes you one in flesh, even as you are one in Christ. Repeat after me, will you, young? This ring I give thee. This ring. This ring I thee give you. In token and pledge. In token and pledge. Of our constant faith. Of our constant faith. And abiding love. And abiding love. Repeat after me, Micah. This ring I give thee. This ring I give thee. In token and pledge. In token and pledge. Of our constant faith. Of our constant faith. And abiding love. And abiding love. For as much as this man and this woman have promised to be faithful and true to each other, and have witnessed the same before God and this company by spoken vows and the giving and receiving of rings and pledge, they enter now into a new estate. As the minister of Jesus Christ, I pronounce them husband and wife. What therefore God hath joined together, let not man put asunder. It is my pleasure and honor to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Young Joseph.